Vida is life. Hello and welcome to this special broadcast. We're joining you from Hero Motor Corp Center for Innovation and Technology in Jaipur. The company has launched its first electric offering under the Vida brand, the V1 Plus and the V1 Pro. Now the starting price of this scooter is 1.45 lakhs ex showroom and the top variant will cost you 1.59 lakhs ex showroom. The range for the scooter approximately for the entry level variant is 143 kilometers and the range for the top variant is 165 kilometers in a single charge according to the company now when it comes to launching electric vehicles hero motor corp is at least 2 to 3 years late in the market compared to some of its peers but what it says will be a differentiator is that hero motor corp is giving you not just a scooter but a complete ev ecosystem which includes a charging network easy financing schemes and a strong buyback guarantee as well let's listen in to pavan munjal the chairman and ceo of hero motor corp with us right now is the chairman and ceo of hero motor corp all decked up and uh, on the Hero Vida scooter the electric offering uh, Mr Munjal thank you very much for joining us it's a big day it's also a transition for uh, Hero Motor Corp how important will these scooters be to grow your market share sustain your market presence in future thank you parikshit and and thank you for coming to the CIT for this very big and a very momentous day for Hero clearly not just us the world has been waiting for the launch of this vida v1 scooter we today are really big in motorcycles mm. this is now our opportunity mm. to get that break mm. and make it big in mm. scooters mm. also mm. what we shown today what we've launched today is not just a product it's not just a scooter mm. you saw that it is an entire ecosystem mm. a plethora of features services platform and what have you mm. we will definitely surely more than delight our customers right uh, just to ask you you're starting with three cities right now what kind of sales volumes uh, are you initially looking at you said you want to start small but uh, what kind of initial numbers if you want to give us a sense i'm not going to talk of any numbers today but the fact that we are starting out with three cities clearly tells you that we don't want to suddenly flood the market with our scooters mm. we want to go slowly gradually ramp up our volumes mm. get customers in mm. we said today that we are starting bookings mm. next monday mm. on october 10th mm. thereafter middle of december we are going to start delivering mm. to our customers mm. also in the month of december we will then open bookings for another eight cities mm. so we are going gradually mm. but sooner rather than later we will cover the entire nation okay by uh, by when do you plan to begin exports it's within a year within 6 months um our exports will definitely start within a year we will not take that long we were already preparing ourselves readying ourselves we have been talking to our existing joint venture partners we today at the launch had prospective distributors from europe mm. and other places so we will be starting very soon all right so europe would be the first market I'm not going to say what is going to be the first market there probably will be simultaneous launches in a few markets okay now you you have several pieces of the puzzle going on at Hero Motor Corp when it comes to electric vehicles ether that investment of 37% stake 38% stake that's already there you've got an extensive tie up with gogoro you've now launched your own electric scooter are we going to see a mass market scooter from Hero Motor Corp somewhere in the range of 1 lakh the mission at hero as you know is create collaborate and inspire mm. and this to follow our vision be the future of mobility mm. so partnership is the game we are following mm. 
you rightly said, Aether, Gogoro, we recently announced another one which is in the works. So we are going to go with different segments of products in the emerging mobility business unit. Mm. And that's how we are going to garner volumes. We are starting with a premium product, mm. which is, as I said, a loaded, a feature loaded product. Mm. And of course, we are giving another option in the Vida V1 Plus. Having said that, we will, mm. we will come up with a product which is more affordable for the masses. When would the next launch be? You've got to tie up with Gogoro. When does that scooter come out? Uh, when does that mass market scooter come out? You said that all this is in cards. If you can give us maybe a six months or a year's timeline of the next products. Today, October 7th, 2022 is just the beginning. Hmm. Let us settle down hmm. with the Vida V1 hmm. Pro and Plus. Hmm. We are working on various other products, as I said. They're all, all in the works, all in the pipeline. Hmm. So sooner rather than later, we will have them also launched and then out on the roads. Right. What, what was the real strategy behind having portable batteries, removable batteries which people can charge at home? You know, the fast charging infrastructure or battery swapping mm. can be put up in places where, number one, there is space available, where people can bring their vehicles, get them charged. A number of times, mm -hmm. there is no place available. People are living in places where there's no place available for charging. Mm -hmm. So we have given those people the convenience of just pulling out the battery mm -hmm. out of the scooter, take it to your home, take it to your office, mm -hmm. and charge at your own convenience. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, just to ask you about uh, future investments in the Vida brand, would you like to go public at some stage, maybe list Vida as a separate entity? Uh, to get in more investments, considering this is a high-risk business, would that be your eventual plan? Once again, um, a question which is coming in very early in the game for us. Mm. Um, give us time to figure out what we want to do, what kind of financial engineering, financial structuring we want to do going forward. Today, mm. today the hero backing for the Vida platforms is so solid. Mm. Hero's balance sheet is really solid. Mm. As and when going forward, the investments become really, really large and the requirement is to go public, we will then look at that option. All right. My final two questions, Mr. Munjal. Thank you so much for taking out this time for us. By 2025, what percentage of your portfolio do you expect to be electric? By 2030, what percentage of your portfolio do you expect to be electric? And that's, that's an important question to you because Hero Motor Corp is the largest two-wheeler manufacturer in India, the largest seller of commuter bikes. So what's your view on how much of your portfolio can turn to electric by 2025 and 2030? From, from the time I have spoken about EVs, I have always said that I will not give out a date or a year mm. and what percentage, at what time. We've just started. We want to watch the market, how it goes. Of course, I'm very clear personally that the EV market will grow, mm. has to grow. That's the only way forward. Having said that, for a nation like ours, the entire infrastructure has to be put up. Mm. The customers have to get used to mm. EVs mm. from ICE vehicles. Mm. So ICE vehicles are here mm. for some time. Now what time? I don't want to put a number there. And final question, what will be the differentiator? Uh, you've got EV products from your biggest competitors in the market already for three years. Uh, the likes of Ola, your own uh, startup, Aether, they're very, doing very well in the EV market. Hero Electric, Okinawa, there are a large number of startups. How will Hero Motor Corp be a differentiator in this space which is growing and booming quite fast? Well, you were there during the launch today. And we have clearly shown and we have said what the differentiators are. The specification, the parameter, the services, the ecosystem is best in class. Absolutely best in class. Practically every parameter that we are giving in this product is tops. It is feature loaded. 
the software that we provided is going to make it so convenient for the consumer mm. to be able to talk to the vehicle. Mm. This is the best. All right, uh, Mr. Pavan Mujal, thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. All the best with the Vida scooter now. And uh, we hope to see more EV scooters from the Vida brand in the near future. Thank you very much for joining us here thank on you. CNBC TV 18.